Hey everyone, it's Sue here and welcome to my YouTube channel. I wanted to work on a mixed media page today. So I pulled out all of these really awesome supplies. Um, some of them are new, some are old. And I pulled out my Liquitex um, gel medium and I'm going to start collaging. Uh, most of you know collaging is one of my favorite things to do. And I just tore up um, a page from a book and I'm gonna go ahead and get that down. Um, I do try to protect the pages underneath, so I put a piece of deli paper under there to protect it. It was a little bit too small <laughs> for this because I usually use it in my, in my Bible, but, um, but it worked. It worked, and so now I am using the gel medium on the napkin. So the napkin, I removed the two plies that um, are part of the napkin, and I keep those, and I will use them to stamp on, and, um, and then I use that for my mixed media. So this particular paint is by Prima. It's Art Alchemy paint. It's new from uh, CHA this year and it's acrylic paint. This one's called Opal Magic Pink Dash Blue and the reason it has two colors is because when it's on black it's one color and when it, it's on a lighter color it's different. So like the lighter color is a little bit blue and when it's on the darker color it is pink. It's amazing paint. Amazing. Um, <clears throat> so now I have my, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, um, drywall tape, <clears throat> excuse me, that is sticky on the back, and I haven't used it in a while. I was looking <laughs> in my other room, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I forgot I had this. So I decided to use some for texture. Now this right here is actually a stencil. A stencil pack that I won from Rita Barricat. Um, Rita is just wonderful. She has been, um, you know, working with Faber Castell for years now, and um, I actually won this set of stencils from her on Periscope. And out of the, it comes with ten different stencils in the set, and it is Faber Castell. And they are paper stencils, but let me tell you, they're, they're not quite chipboard. Um, they're not that thick, which is good because then it would be hard to stencil with them. Um, but I can definitely tell they can be used many, many, many times. Um, so what I'm using to put on the stencil itself is also a Faber-Castell product called Texture Lux in Silver. And it is gorgeous. I, you know, I hit it with the heat tool. And you know, you know me, if you watch me, I like layers. So it wasn't enough to have all that down. No, no, no. <laughs> so I decided to pull the white um, Dilutions paint. And I'm using my favorite brush of all, which is my fingers. And I'm just getting it down. Now it's going to look like I'm color uh, covering most of what I um, already put down there. And I am covering a lot of it. But the finished product, you can still see that awesome um, acrylic paint. You can still see the uh, texture lux. So, um, so what I did here was I, I didn't want the white paint that heavy that thick. So I'm just taking my brush and a little bit of water and just, you know, making it a little thinner and a little bit more transparent. So I dried that off really well and I like the way, I'm, I'm liking the way it looks. But I pulled out my black archival ink and a makeup sponge. And this is one of the stencils from that Faber-Castell set that I won from Rita. And I'm, I just love the way that this looks on the page. I love circles to begin with. And just the way, see how it fits right on the edge 
like that. It's like, it was just made for that. It just, I, I like it a lot. So I did go ahead and put that around all four sides of this particular page and I like the way that looks. So I'm just gonna clean up a little bit here and I'm gonna lift it up to show you what it looks like so far. All right, we're getting there. We're not nearly done yet. <laughs> and sorry, I realize I should have had the my the camera down a little bit more and I didn't, so I'm, I apologize for that. But I pulled out my Posca paint pens and um, I started with a beautiful metallic purple. And I went with purple because the uh, napkin had the purple flowers. And you can see here when I'm drawing this heart, it was difficult. And that's because of all of the texture on, on the page. So the texture from the drywall tape as well as that texture lux um, paste. And, um, and so I just made the heart thicker, you know, the line thicker, and I dried that off. And this, it's an old um, close to my heart pen, and all I'm doing here is I just want to get a very light outline for an eye. And I'm not going to tell you just yet what this is all about. Um, let me know if you guys can figure it out. I want to know. Leave me a comment. <laughs> but it is an eye in a heart. So you'll see, you'll see. So here are my pit pens, also made by Faber-Castell. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put, you know, a, a nice dark um, line for the eye there. And there's the eyeball, which again, see that texture kind of it messed me up there, but you'll see it works out, it all works out. Um, so I just decided to make the whole eyeball a little bit thicker, but I did narrow that out as I as I went along. Now, this was difficult. So I'm putting in eyelashes. Well, first of all, I'm working on the drywall tape, which was hard. Second of all, I have a thing with eyelashes. <laughs> I'm just going to admit it. What I real this was me in control. Normally, uh, see how long they are. Normally, oh, that's my bird. You'll hear that's Maui chirp. Well, making noise. Um, but normally, I would have those long eyelashes like across the whole top of the eye. I mean, I am I lose control when it comes to eyelashes. I just think that they should all be long, as long as can be. <laughs> but I'm trying to control it here, so I don't know. I, I it worked out okay. Um, so I'm using the white Posca paint pen to get the whites of the eyes. And I dried that off. And now this beautiful, beautiful metallic green Posca paint pen. And it is um, literally called metallic green. And it was just so pretty. And what I do, you'll see it here in just one second. I'm pushing down on it. Just see right there, just to get a little bit of the paint out of it. And I did the same thing with the whites of the eyes, just to get more paint on there. So I dried that off, and um, what I'm trying to do here, this did not work like I expected. I'm trying to make an eyelid because, Rita, Rita, if you're watching this, <laughs> Rita has taught me an eye has to have an eyelid. <laughs> it doesn't look like an eye. And I think she's right because, to me, an eye looks like a fish. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I guess that sounds a little bit weird, right? But it, but it just does. So, <clears throat> so by putting the eyelid on there, it just makes it makes it look more like an eye. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, here I'm taking a, like a beige color Posca paint pen, and I'm smearing it out, trying to get the eyelid thing going there, and and that that drywall tape is causing me a little issue over there and the fact that I had already put the eyelashes on, right? But in the end, it, it worked out great. It worked out great. Um, there was just enough of 
um, an eyelid there to make it look like an eye to me. So then I had to come back in and put my um, eyelashes back in. You know, and in between every step, I really do try to give it a good dry uh, for two reasons, because I don't want, you know, anything to like um, blend together that I don't want to blend together. And my hand is really all over this page. And the last thing I want to do is smear it and make a mess. Um, so I just took my black pit pen and I'm just cleaning it up a little bit. And again, giving that a, a nice little dry, the whole thing. And I did go in and I put those little three white dots on the eye and that's the reflection of light. And um, what am I doing here? This is, okay, see now you're gonna know what I, this page is all about. So I'm not even gonna say it. <laughs> You're going to have to see as it goes along. So at this point, did anybody figure out what this page was all about? Um, I'm not going to say. <laughs> um, and I, I definitely almost went totally off screen there. So sorry about that. Um, okay, so it says, well, I'm not going to say just yet. Let me know. Let me know who figured it out. And this beautiful blue, oh my gosh, this blue Posca paint pen. I would tell you the name of it, but it's all in Japanese, that particular one, so I can't tell you. But that says, Open the Eyes of My Heart, Lord. And that is a song by Michael W. Smith. And I'm writing Michael W. Smith um, under the heart right there, because obviously it's his song. And um, then I decided that the words open the eyes of my heart um, just didn't pop enough. So I took, um, what color is this? This is, um, how do you say this? Manganese Violet Faber Castell Pit Pen. And I use the, for the most part, I always use the big brush pit pens. Um, I have, gosh, just a few of the thinner ones, I tend to go for these, the thicker um, ones. So I'm just doing a little bit of outlining, just, you know, getting it so I can see the words easier. And this purple, this, this violet really, really does that quite, quite well. So I'm still not done yet, still not done yet. I'm going back to that blue Posca paint pen and just a few of the words I'm going over again with the blue uh, just because I lost a little bit of it there. So just those three words I decided to um, go over again. And let me tell you, gosh, that, that drywall tape <laughs> gave me trouble on the whole page, but you know what? I love it. I love it, and well, well, well worth it for sure. So if you don't know this song by Michael W. Smith, definitely check it out, Open the Eyes of My Heart, Lord. It is a wonderful song, and I'm sure many, many of you know it. So I'm just going to go ahead and lift it up so you can see it up close. You see all the texture. You see all the different layers. Um, this song has been on my mind for a few days now. Oh, that's Maui. And I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll put a link to Rita Barricat below in the, in the description box. And take care, everybody. Thank you so much.